Okie dokie, what is up everybody? Now this week on Burtlandia we have some four fantastic builds and one of those fantastic builds is going to be a person build, you know, in the YouTube community and we're going to get into that shortly. But last week we had Pizza Hut's Pizzeria. That was fun, that was enjoyable. You guys wanted a downloadable link for Burtlandia and I was able to get it for you guys because I got... 800 likes when I only asked for 500 likes, so you guys are incredible. Thank you very kindly. If you haven't already hit that like button, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. So let's go ahead and get into our first uh, build today, and that is our person build today. And that is right here in front of what I will show you shortly. I almost showed you, didn't I? Oh, I almost gave it away, but I won't. But let's go ahead and get into this, and it is the Diamond Minecarts Minecart Store. Yes, the Minecart Store. What else would he be known for? But yes, he even has things on display. Every type of minecart you can imagine. He has it on display. Hell, he even has a minecart test track. And it also says, please ask before you use. You don't want to get hurt. You don't want ch your children in there. They may get hurt, and that would be really dangerous and uh, very bad for them. But it has a little track that you can take and, you know, bring you right back because it's just a big loop. And uh, here's where you can watch. Like, let's say, uh, you know... You, the, the father wants to go off and t t test out something like that. So he's going to go out there and he's going to test it out. And, you know, the wife and kids are just like, no, honey, you go ahead. And it's your money. So they'll just sit back here and watch. And, uh, you know, I can just go ahead and take a, a cart. I think I can catch this one. Let's see. Ah, I got it. Ah, I caught it. All right. So let's go ahead and test out this bad boy. Now I'm going to close this because, you know, it might, you know, you know why the hell not? And I want to put it in right here and let's go. All right. So this will bring me right back when it's done. I have gone down into the caves. Now, I've tested this out. I've put this thing down here, and it goes all the way down right into a cave. And it's very nice. I like that I was able to make a little minecart, like, test facility. So, I thought that would be really fun to, you know, incorporate into the build. So, I'm glad I was able to do that. And hopefully, you guys enjoy uh, this idea. I may, may go back and uh, incorporate putting in a, um, like, a little weatherproof thing so like a big uh, a big glass bubble over it so you know it won't ever have any issues with weather and whatnot but i mean if you want to test it out we may be able to uh, incorporate some weather stuff so you can actually you know test it out in the rain test it out in thunderstorms test it out in flooding conditions stuff like that so i just thought that'd be kind of fun and uh yeah i was very enjoyed uh the idea of this kind of uh facility because we've never had anything like this on this we've never needed it but i'm so glad that i was able to see this comment and uh thank you very much for that comment idea uh this is chad he is a temp here and uh the diamond minecart is enjoying his work very much so thank you chad for your uh your uh, uh occupation so yes that is the diamond minecarts uh, minecart store and hopefully you enjoyed it and uh yeah i don't know if i want to cover that up or not i'll have to figure that out uh, but this is our next build, and it is quite a large one, and we haven't had one of these in a while. I'm going to go ahead and tell you what it is. It's a church. Yes, we needed a church in this area, and I thought, well, we have a few other big builds. So I was like, well, let me go ahead and incorporate a few more big builds, because I don't want just one big hunk of junk just sitting out there. And I was like, okay, well, if I'm going to make a few big things, you know what? I might as well go big or go home. So I went ahead and made a giant church. Now, I went ahead and tried to make a Methodist-style church. Now, if you don't know what a Methodist style church is, uh, it's just they don't have steeples and whatnot. Some of them do. Some of them do. Don't get me wrong. But this one, I did not want to have a steeple. So I went ahead and made a, a beautiful walkway, which we had one uh, down in Alabama that had one like this. It was it's a, it wasn't a big church, but it was it had a huge, huge stair area. So I thought that was really cool. So I wanted to incorporate that. So I went ahead and I only made it one door. And I also was able to finally incorporate the lovely stained pane glass. Um, I had had so many people ask me to go back, go back to your churches that you have built and incorporate some stained glass. And I was like, well, that's an interesting idea, but how about this? I'll wait, you know, incorporate it in newer builds later down the line. So I did that. And now we have a lovely little purple Easter-y kind of uh, cross. So I like that. And I just decided to put this up in the roof. So I thought that'd be nice. Now, don't get me wrong. There's still some just beautiful natural light coming through. And there's the, the that and that. And, you know, it's very nice. I'm glad that I was able to incorporate it into this. And I went ahead and made this little area where the preacher or pastor or priest or whatever you want to call him comes up here and talks to you and, you know, gives you your, your sermon. Yes. So, yes, that is a very uh, nice little church. I'm glad I was able to incorporate it into this lovely little land. So, yes, it's, 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 big, it's a big church. And I was able to put it up into this mountain. That's why I made the stairs as large as I did. So I was very glad I was able to do that. So hopefully you guys enjoy that build. So yes, that is our second build. Let's go ahead and go into our third build. And that is right here. 
And uh, yes, let's go ahead and get into Ethan's Fine Butchering. So yes, Ethan, show us your fine butchery. Isn't this just a lovely little butchery? Ethan, look over here. Look at me. Yes, that's a good, that's a good boy. This is his lovely butcher uh, shop, and I enjoy it. He's got everything from your your shitty um, meat, you know, like your 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 throwaway, your dog food kind of meat, and then he's got everything from raw to processed, raw to processed, uh, raw to processed, raw to processed, and then he has a lot of uh, chicken because you know a lot of people like chicken. I like chicken, and that could be turkey, that could be chicken, that could be turkey. Who knows? It's just you got to use your imagination. So yes, and then he has some, you know, off uh, off the beat track. <laughs> Um, uh, meats as well, but yes, his name is Ethan, and he does a fine bang-up job as a butcher, and we enjoy it, and I also enjoyed making this uh, building, so hopefully you guys enjoy this, the style of this building, so I enjoyed doing it, and it was, it was, I, I just like how it's kind of got like a weird, like a, a, a weird letter, like a letter of the future, like a, a B with like an M in it, I don't know, I like it, and maybe you guys like it, and if you don't, I'm sorry, you don't like it, but... Uh, yeah, that is uh, Mr. Ethan's Butcher Shop, and I was very glad I was able to incorporate this into uh, the land. And there was something I also wanted to really incorporate into the land, and I didn't know exactly how I was going to do it. And I asked you guys. I asked you guys last week, and uh, you guys gave me a very defined answer, and that was this cave. I'm going to get over there in a minute, and I'll show you in a minute. But yes, this cave. Remember the cave that I built this lovely bridge over to? I had no idea what I wanted to do with that cave. So let's go ahead and show you what I did with such lovely cave. I made it into something, and that is a mountain artesian spring and spa. So this is a hot spring. A hot spring. And it's an artesian mountain spring. And I have incorporated and also made it a spa. Now this spa has everything from um, the swimming tracks. I don't know if you've ever seen these before. But, um, well, one of my grandparents actually have one of these. And it's one of those ones where you can, like, swim in place. So it's a small pool. It's a very small pool. And you just swim because there's, like, a current. So you're allowed to swim against the current. So it's fine. It's an interesting thing to have. So that's what this is supposed to be. So you have that. And then you also have just little areas where you can lay out and just enjoy. You know, because it's, it's still naturally hot and it's steamy. So that's got a nice little atmosphere to it. And then there's also the hot tubs, which you can see the artesian lava below. So yes, and then if you want to get out of there, you can come in here and you can, you can enjoy the actual sauna. Yes, this is the nice steamy room. Me and Aviator Gaming, when we lived in LA, used to come here all the days. All the days. We used to love coming to the, the sauna because we enjoyed burning calories and stuff like that. We knew that if you stayed in there for almost an hour, you could burn a lot of calories. So we enjoyed it very much and uh, we met a lot of amazing people and we had a lot of amazing conversations with people from all over the world. Everyone from Israel to uh, Africa. It was just it was an amazing atmosphere and I enjoyed it very much and it, it, it was nice. It was nice. So this build brought back a lot of memories of good times. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And then there's also a little area that I kind of incorporated from a childhood thing I used to know. And it was like, it was called a, a, a river cave. Now a river cave is a neat little area where you go in and then there's a giant cave in the middle and then you just enjoy yourself. Now this kind of reminds me of a thing I used to know in Tennessee known as Ruby Falls. Now if you don't know what Ruby Falls is, it's a very beautiful little uh, waterfall in a cave. But this is nothing near that. This is just a little baby uh, waterfall. But it's just, it's like, it's like a giant hot tub. It's like, um, I don't know, an olympic size hot tub. So yes, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, that is all of our four builds for this week. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it. As always, if you haven't liked the video, like the video. I hope you can. Also, don't forget, if you need a towel to dry off after you're done or teasing, this is your little dispensers and droppers. So yes, like I said... Please hit the like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed, if you enjoyed, please do. If you didn't, well, if you already subscribed and you didn't enjoy, I mean, I guess you can unsubscribe, but I would prefer you to, you know, give me some critiques or something. At least don't leave. Please don't go. I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Also, leave your ideas in the comment sections of what you'd like to see next week. If you uh, don't have any ideas, please look in the comment section and look for ideas that you think might be interesting. And if you do like that idea, give it a thumbs up. It allows me to know what you guys enjoy. So yes. Till next time, good day and goodbye. So in this week's Bam Lounge prank, guess who got prunked? I got prunked. I know prunk isn't a real word, but guess what? I got it.